crocodile in this painting is presented as a flat and immobile form, contoured with heavy black lines in the manner of a child's drawing. Oppel's handling of paint activates a frenzy of rhythmic movement, despite the static monumentality of the subject. The physicality of the impasto and its topographic variety allow it to reflect light and cast shadows dramatically, increasing the emotional intensity of violent color contrasts. The figurative motifs and patterns Oppel used in his art were often meant to resemble the different visual approaches that children moved through during their early creative development. Oppel's mature paintings combine abstract and representative elements, with gestural brushwork and an impasto technique using thick, heavy layers of paint. He worked with a stock of oil paint that he had found when an old paint shop closed down, and which he stated had been there since the 17th century. Uganda. This Nile crocodile is coming ashore for a very important event. Her babies are about to hatch. Sharing her nest are some very special hatchlings. Ones with cameras in their eyes. They are here to record the relationship between a mother crocodile and her young. The spy hatchlings have been filming her for days as she waits for her real young to arrive. The calls of her babies synchronize their hatching, encouraging the whole brood to emerge at once. They are also cries for her attention. Karl Oppel was a major painter of the post-war era in the Netherlands, as renowned for his colorful personality as for his free-flowing, spontaneous approach to his work. As a founding member of the Cobra Group, along with his Dutch compatriots Corne Guillaume Beverlu and Constant Nieu Wenwees, Oppel developed a radically new approach to painting. He believed in a wholly unschooled form of creative expression, and looked to the art produced by children, mental patients, and artists working outside the canon for inspiration.